Finally, on Fox 5, our Stephanie Ramirez learning one police department in our area is planning to recruit in Puerto Rico as part of their efforts to increase staffing. Let's get right out to Stephanie. She is live at Prince George's County Police Headquarters with the latest on these efforts. Steph? Sure, Jacqueline, and I'm told not only is uh, Prince George's County Police planning to go to Puerto Rico soon, but they also are planning to go to the Puerto Rican Day Parade in Philadelphia later this month to recruit. But they tell me they're not just targeting this one population, that they are opening the net to all Spanish-speaking bilingual candidates, and they're even using commercials to do so. Por eso todos estamos orgullosos de ser parte del Departamento de Policía del Condado Prince George's. Prince George's County Police tell us they're also recruiting everyone else just as heavily, even traveling to Texas, Tennessee, and beyond, as various departments all across the country and in our region especially compete for the best of the best while also fighting staffing shortages all across the country. Now, we got to experience some of the driving course that PGPD's recruits were going through today. I'm told the driving course is actually one of the areas younger recruits have more difficulty passing because their generation doesn't have the same driving experience, depending more on ride share or mass transportation than going to get their license right away. One recruit we spoke with is in her mid-20s. She says she's born and raised in D.C. and she spoke with us on why she wants to join PGPD while also reflecting on 2020's summer of racial reckoning and how that impacted policing. Policing has definitely changed a lot. I think it's evolving. I think it's growing. I think that we're more community involved. So I'm actually pretty excited about joining and being a part of this because I know I'm going to be the change that is already happening. Prince George's County is truly a great place to work. I'm proud that I've worked here for 17 years. It's been a completely awesome experience from start to finish. We have so much great to offer. FedEx feel behind us. And we have so many different benefits. Our benefits are the top in the state, if not in the country, in my opinion. And Captain Nicholas Collins pointing out FedEx field there is also significant in that PGPD has discovered when recruiting younger that that generation values their personal time a little more. So advertising that PGPD does not have forced overtime but still has plenty of overtime opportunities like working events at FedEx field can be a positive incentive. Now we do have a look at some of the base salaries in our area. In addition to that, different departments are offering different incentives like take home vehicles, retirement benefits. We know DC police has been counting a $25,000 bonus. Montgomery County has 20. Fairfax has a foreign language incentive, among others, with most agencies saying diversity is very important to them because it reflects their communities today. And they're also saying that they are seeing recruitment up. Now, PGPD tells us they have about 300 or 350 more officers to go before they can make nearly 1,800 officers on the force, which is what they are allowed to have. And while everyone is saying recruiting is up, it will be also important to follow up and see how many of those recruits are actually hired and join the force. Guys.